Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about 10 things that I love about fire belly toads and yellow bellied toads. So I originally when I wrote this did not have yellow bellied toads and now I have yellow bellied toads housed with my fire belly toads. And that's kind of a controversial thing in like a breeding community. However, I don't breed them. I will talk about that more at length in the description. That way I offer clarity without taking up too much of the runtime of this video talking about it. So if you are curious, it is in the description. To make the distinction, just in case you don't know, Bombina variegata are yellow belly toads and they are the ones that are gray or brown on top with a yellow underside. And Bombina orientalis are the traditional like fire belly toads everybody in the US knows because they were really popular in the pet trade a few years ago, but they are green on top and orange on the underside. So let's get into 10 things that I love about them, shall we? So number one, they are the perfect size. They're just like really cute and little. I just find them like absolutely adorable due to their size. Number two, they're semi-aquatic. This is probably my most favorite thing about them as a species is that you can build an enclosure that has a water feature and a land feature. While they do hang out in the water more than not, they are not a fully aquatic species and need to be able to come out of the water. So that's why you can put a lot of driftwood coming out of the water. You can create a land section. There's a lot of things you can do with their enclosure and I really love that you get the best of both worlds. You get to have water and land. Number three, you can and should cohab them. They are quite a social species. They really love to interact with each other. In fact, when you have a bunch, you get to see a lot of their behaviors you wouldn't see if there was just one or two. So I really recommend having a little group of them. They're so interactive. They're kind of playful with each other. They're just really lovely and they engage a lot with each other. It's not like when you have like two reptiles cohab that really shouldn't be cohabbed and they just ignore each other. No, these frogs are really great with being social. So I love that I can cohab them because, you know, it's just nice to have like a little group of frogs. Number four, they are stunning in appearance. Both the Bombina variegata and the Bombina orientalis are absolutely beautiful. Their undersides are gorgeous. Their top sides are gorgeous. They're just, they're gorgeous all throughout. Number five, they are fun to watch. As you guys are seeing right now, it's just so cool. No matter what time of day you're in there, someone is doing something in that enclosure, whether it be sinking at the bottom and like it looks like they're asleep underwater or if they're jumping and climbing in the background or if they are engaging in implexus with one another or if they're being very vocal, which we'll get to in a minute because it's one of my favorites. But they're just really interactive, not just with themselves and like each other, but they're also interactive with the enclosure. And so it just makes for a really fun viewing experience. Number six, they are excellent eaters. As you guys saw in the clips, they do not turn down a meal no matter what it is. Even if it's too big, even if it's too much, they will continue to eat. So you kind of have to be careful not to overfeed them, but they just love food. And I like when an animal eats without difficulty because I have plenty of animals that do uh, give me a hard time when it comes to eating. So it's nice to have some that do not. Number seven, fire belly toads and yellow belly toads vocalize. Their sounds are so cute. It's like little chirps almost. Like they just have these tiny little squeak noises and they're so cute. Now, if you're the kind of person that doesn't want to hear that all the time, I don't recommend having them because they will make these noises a lot. And especially if you keep them in a group because they'll be interacting with each other. But I just, I love the noises. They're so cute. Number eight, they come to see me when I'm in the room. So like the moment I walk in the room, if I walk by their enclosure, they're all jumping because they know I'm the food bringer and I love that. Number nine, they are easy to care for. As far as amphibians go, like a lot of amphibians are seen as easy to care for, but fire-bellied toads and yellow-bellied toads are like so much easier to care for than any other amphibian I've ever had. Like they're just, they're easy. They're very easy. And number 10, you can build a really cool, naturalistic, bioactive, live planted enclosure for them. It's not something you can do for all amphibians because some of them just aren't going to interact with their enclosure as much. But with these guys, it is definitely an option and also a plus because they really will engage with the natural items you put in their enclosure. So those are 10 reasons why I love fire belly toads and yellow belly toads. If you ever have the opportunity to have these toads, or rather these frogs, because they're actually frogs, they just look like toads because of their bumpy appearance. So if you ever have the opportunity to have one of these frogs, or not one, but a group, I really, really recommend it. They're just amazing frogs. They're just, 
they're just lovely amphibians. So I'm going to, again, leave in the description a little paragraph about why I cohab my fire-bellied toads and yellow-bellied toads and why some people think that that's not okay so we can have a nice discussion about it. And yeah, I just think, you know, it's good to address that even though, you know, some people may not have an issue with it, some people may. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and notification bell, all the good stuff. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.